Alright, what's up guys, it's me Sean here with some C Sharp tutorial here today. And today we're going to learn how to pass data between forms. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to add some stuff for this exercise. And we're going to go into toolbox and type in a text box. So we're going to add a text box. And there's our text box here. And we also want to add a button. Okay. So basically what I'm trying to do here is, uh, let me run this real quick. So basically what I'm trying to do here is if user type in something in form one, this is form one, and when they click button one here, I wanna open up a form two with the text they typed into our text box, okay? So we're basically sending this text into the other form. Right. So because we need a new form, we're going to go into our Solutions Explorer and right click on your project, add new item. And if you do, go ahead and click Windows Form and hit add here. Okay. And once you do, you will get a two different forms. And in our form two, we're going to need a tool called label. Okay. So we're going to click label and then just put label onto your screen. So now let's get to coding part. So let's go back to our form1.cs. So we're going to double click the button one. So double click them. Then what it will do is it will generate a method. So inside of this method, I'm going to call a form2. And at the same time, I want to pass in the data to form2. So let's create a object called form2. Form2, let's name it something like f2 equals new form2 and semicolon. So notice this is the same exact thing as what we learned in the previous video. However, but this time we're going to add something inside of this parentheses to send it to form2. And I want to send a text box ones text. Okay, that's the that's the blank text box. This is text box one. And after that, you just hit enter here and then type in this.hide and we're going to show it f show f2 show dialog okay so what it will do is it will open up a form 2 but i want to send that text as well into a form 2 but notice there's a red underline under the form 2 right it's because inside of our form 2 uh, we haven't coded the constructor with string inside yet. So what we have to do is we have to go into our form 2's code. So let's go to your solutions explorer and right click on your form 2 and view code. So here notice our constructor doesn't take any parameters. However we're trying to send something into our parameter so what we're going to do is we're going to say that you're going to receive a string called s. That's, so that's what I'm doing here. So basically, I'm sending this text into that string s. So now I can do something like this in here. I can do something like label one dot text equals hello plus s. Okay, so what it will do is it will change the text of the label to hello and whatever the string you typed in. So let's try this out. So go to form1 or form1.cs and hit start. So there's our program. So if I type in something like Sean Kuhn and then hit button one, it will open up a form two with hello Sean Kuhn inside. So yeah, that's it for how to pass in datas between forms and forms. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, please leave questions on the comment below and subscribe for more, more tutorials. Thanks.